Hi there, this is Sabre Crypto and today I want to talk about TAP Global. Uh, the ticker for the coin is called XTP and TAP Global is all about a kind of payment solution which involves an app, a card and uh, I've talked about it a few times on a, a few videos over the past two weeks almost. Not last Friday but the Friday before that, um, that martini guy talked about this on his channel and he said this is a low cap gem that has amazing upside potential okay so that was uh, that was <laughs> that was down here when the price was like kind of three or four sats now a sat is uh 10 to the minus eight bitcoin so uh seven zeros and then a one uh, that is one sat so at the moment the price of xtp is 62 sats now it'd been going between one and two sats for a forever um, and then of course as soon as he mentioned it on his channel there was lots of interest in it i bought some around about eight cents um, then i bought a little bit more to a little bit higher and then and then and then the other day i bought another half a bitcoin's worth a reasonably high price actually so my average buy-in price is about 23 sats and today it's 62 uh, now, this has given me a rather interesting problem. Um, but before I go any further, when you've seen this kind of growth in, in a project before, you probably think, OK, well, that's just going to that's going to just dump straight down because uh, this is obviously just a new pump and dump coin. It's a meme coin or something like that. This, this isn't. This has been around for a long time. If we go back to the weekly chart, you can see that this current pump you've had there is pretty much invisible when you look at the entire chart okay so even from where we are today but say we were to go back to the all-time high um that would be four thousand percent is that possible possibly i mean it's been there before isn't it so why not but certainly i think increasing to this kind of price here like a thousand sats maybe i think that's quite possible so from here to a thousand would be something like a, a 1,825% increase. Okay, does this interest you? If it does, go over to savercrypto.org slash tap, right? And you can get the tap app and you can have a look at it and see what you think. I have a few reservations. My biggest one is the fact that the base currency of the card is euros. And at the moment I live in the UK. I did live in France, but um, at the moment I live in the UK so I can't really see myself using the card and the card doesn't have any kind of cash back like what say a CRO card or a, or a Binance card would have um, so at the moment I'm probably going to use my CRO card crypto.com card instead of using the card as a you know a daily driver kind of card but if you look at the app you'll see that you can exchange crypto very very cheaply and more so if you've got one of the premium accounts okay so now the plans that tap have are there's the free one so you get the card for free you get the account for free and it's just like a bank account you can use it like a bank account so you have a, a standard one that's free and then you've got a black one where you need to stake a quarter of a million xtp and then there's a titanium one where you need to stake half a million xtp now i set this up the other day and I went for the titanium account, which cost me, I think it was about $3,000. If you look at the, what that was worth in pounds. So this was January the 11th when the account was worth £2,731 um, because I just staked the half a million XTP. Now, this is a screenshot from January the 11th, so that's seven days ago. So the price wasn't as low as it could be then. But to get the titanium account, it cost me £2,731. And today you can see that this is actually worth £5,362. That's quite a nice little increase in seven days, isn't it? So I think these uh, titanium plans are going to become very sought after and people are going to want to buy the XTP token. Okay, so you might be wondering what my problem is. Uh, well, my problem is, is uh, at the moment, you can see this chart here. This is the Bittrex exchange where I, I bought most of my XTP. The half a million I just bought on the app, uh, but the uh, the larger amount 
I, I bought on Bittrex because at the moment there's only this and there's there's a exchange called Probit in, in the states that I don't know about. Uh, and of course you can get it on Uniswap as well, but I hate all that sort of thing. So uh, I just used Bittrex. Now the problem is I know nothing about this exchange. It might be very reliable. It might have been around for years. Everyone trusts it and it's never been hacked. I just don't know. It's not Bybit and you know I don't know anything about it. So the problem is, is, is when I put the money on in the first place, there was two Bitcoins. I paid $17,000 for each Bitcoin. So it was worth about $34,000. And the problem now is it's worth a lot more. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Just looking at the way the order book's going, you can see here the current price is, what is it now? It's 65 sats. Okay. And in the order book here, you can see people are trying to sell at 66. There's quite a a few sales up at 69 and 70 you know and then beyond that you know the sale orders are quite small so if it now gets above 69 or 70 this could like rocket up very very quickly what i have is going to be worth a lot of money so i think i should put it somewhere else now i'm sort of tempted to put it into the tap app but at the moment there's no earn feature in there at the moment it's coming um, but at the moment it would just be there. So it would technically be a custodial wallet, uh, which I don't have ownership of. I mean, it's obviously my account, but it's not the same as having your own keys and your own wallet. So what I want to do is to move it over to my Ledger hardware wallet. So um, to do that costs a little bit of money. So if I go to holdings and... Uh, you can see here that my original two Bitcoins worth is now actually worth 5.63 Bitcoins or uh, nearly $120,000. So I need to withdraw that. So you just do that by going withdraw. And it says XTP is an ERC20 token on the Ethereum network. And that's got the contract address there. So I just need to put in a wallet address there and the amount. But um, if, say, I did it all the fee would be 554 XTP, which currently is about $7.20 because the current price of XTP in dollars is about 0.13 cents. Okay, so it's going to cost about $7 to make a withdrawal. So obviously, if you've only got $50 in there, you know, you probably don't want to withdraw it yet. But I obviously have considerably more. Now, what I really suggest doing, if you've never done a withdrawal on an exchange before and you've got a large amount, is just do a small test amount first. Check everything works OK and then do the large amount. Um, so what I need to do is go over to my ledger, select the Ethereum deposit address. OK, so I'll do that by just putting in my pin and then that's me into my ledger Nano X. OK, so the Ethereum app is installed. So is the Bitcoin. I've also got the Binance Smart Chain one installed. If you haven't got this, you can just go add account. And just follow the instructions there. I want to receive on the Ethereum network. OK, so it says, please only send ETH or Ethereum tokens to Ethereum accounts. Now, XTP is an ERC20 token, which is an Ethereum token. OK, so this should be fine. So let's go continue. So I open the app and with the ledger, you have to click both buttons to uh, confirm things. OK, so app update required. Uninstall and reinstall the Ethereum app in my ledger. OK, let's do that. And maybe I could just go update all here. OK, on the ledger, it says processing. I'll just pause the video while it does that. Okay, so that all looks good. Um, if you've got other stuff you want to put on here, you can put yeah, XRP, Cardano, Doge, all these sort of things, all the usual kind of stuff can all be put on there. So yeah, so I've got the Ethereum one there. So let's try us again now. So I'm going to go receive and I'm going to go Ethereum. Okay, uh, it wants me to put the pin in again. Obviously timed out, didn't it? Right, that's opening the Ethereum app. Okay, so there's the address. And you verify that with what you can see on the screen of the ledger. And that looks correct, brilliant. Okay, so let's copy that and, and approve. Okay, so this application is ready 
So I can just click done there. Okay, so the address goes there. The withdrawal amount. Okay, so um, let's do let's do say five thousand XTP, which is about sixty one dollars. Okay, so let's go withdraw XTP. I need the two FA from Bittrex. And by the way, if you haven't set up your two FA on Bittrex, please do because you just want as much security as possible. Okay, withdrawal submitted, your withdrawal of 5,000 XTP submitted. Now things on the Ethereum network are normally pretty fast, but if you want to check what's going on, you can go to etherscan.io and just put in your address there that you're sending it to. And what you'll see is this, which makes no sense, but if you go to ERC20 token, right, you can see it's going from Bittrex to and that's my ledger address isn't it so you can see here if you click that transaction hash you will see success so that's done now okay that all happened nice and quickly transaction fee was actually two dollars 44 so obviously bittrex keep a little bit themselves so let's have a look at the ledger app okay well i think that timed out but you can see here the 62 dollars worth in there so it looks like it's gone in okay so if i go to portfolio oh you can see here tap okay so that worked perfectly so i'm going to do the larger amount now so i'm going to go to bittrex i'm going to go withdraw put in that wallet address i'm going to move 8.663 million xtp quite scary because it's now worth $121,000 my god oh okay so my withdrawal limit has been reached please try again in 24 hours that's interesting i wonder what the limit is so this is something i need to look at okay but anyway basically i've just shown you how to do it uh, this might be the sort of thing if there is a, a, a withdrawal limit on bittrex it might be worth moving stuff out of there sooner rather than later i don't know i'll try and find out meanwhile okay so if you appreciate that please do give the video a like Actually, I just had a quick Google, and if you go to my profile in Bittrex, it will tell you your limits. So my withdrawal limit is uh, 25,000 per day, and I'm guessing that 30-day volume, I think that's just my trading volume, isn't it? Okay, so daily withdrawal is $25,000. So every time you gain another $25,000 worth, uh, I would probably suggest taking it out and putting it on a hardware ledger or putting it straight into the tap app okay not financial advice but i think it's good advice but as ever do your own research and uh tell your friends <laughs>